Hello students, today we are going to discuss quick solutions for All India Akash Test Series Medical 2019 and we are going to discuss test number 2 code C and I will be discussing botany section. So moving on to the first question that is question number 91. Mark the incorrect statement regarding fungi. You have studied about fungi in the chapter biological classification. So now let's discuss the options and identify which is the incorrect statement. First statement is some of the factors affecting growth of fungi are temperature, aeration and moisture. For favorable conditions for the fungal growth are humid environment. So hot and humid environment are required for fungal growth. So the factors which affect growth of fungi are temperature, aeration and moisture. True? So this is correct. Second statement states that fungi show great diversity in morphology and habitat. True. Fungi as we all know are cosmopolitan that means they occur in air, water and on plants and animals as well. So this is also true. Fungi are more abundant in substrates with low sugar content. No with high sugar content and low temperature no optimum temperature neither too high nor too low optimum temperature is required for fungal growth so this is an incorrect option and fungi are mainly terrestrial this is very true they are mostly terrestrial so the answer to this question is option number three moving on to the next question that is question number 92. Question number 92 says, identify the correct statement with respect to saprophytic protest. By the name saprophytic protest, saprophytic protest kaun hote Slime molds are known as saprophytic protest. So we have to identify the correct statement regarding slime molds. Slime molds are also known as consumer decomposer protest what happens under favorable conditions under favorable conditions these slime molds form an aggregations called plasmodium And what happens when there are unfavorable conditions? In that case, plasmodium differentiates to form fruiting bodies. which bears spores at its tip and these fruiting bodies bears spores at tip okay now we have to identify the correct statement moving on to option number one the plasmodium differentiates and form fruiting bodies under favorable condition no we have just started that during unfavorable conditions plasmodium differentiates to form fruiting bodies so this should be unfavorable the spores are dispersed by water and air currents no they are dispersed by air currents the plasmodium is formed under suitable conditions this is true that plasmodium is formed under favorable or suitable conditions the spores possess true walls but can survive only for few months this is very true that spores of slime molds have true cell wall. So this presence of true cell walls give them an extra advantage. They make them resistant to the unfavorable conditions. So they can survive for many years. Not for few years. They can survive for many years. So this is also incorrect. So the correct option is 
option number three. Okay. Moving on to the next question, that is question number ninety-three. Choose the correct option with respect to features of slime molds showing similarity with fungi, plantae, and animalia, respectively. So here, certain features are given, and you have to identify which features present in slime molds resembles or show similarity with fungi, plantae, or animalia. So, moving on to the first feature, that is wall-less vegetative phase. Wall-less that means absence of cell wall. When cell wall is absent, this is the feature of animalia. Okay, fruiting bodies. Fruiting bodies kis mo hoti hai? Fruiting bodies are generally formed in fungi. So this is the feature, fungal feature. Mitospore formation. Mitospores are formed in the fungi. So this is also a fungal feature. Moving on to the next, that is cellulosic cell wall. हम सब को पता है कि cellulosic cell wall is a feature of plants. So this is the feature of plants. So by analyzing all the options, we come to know that option number one is correct. So answer is option number one. Moving on to the next question, that is question number ninety-four. Dinoflagellates show or are? As we all know that dinoflagellates are unicellular protists, which are photosynthetic. First option: they are mainly parasitic. No, they are. Mostly photosynthetic. They are responsible for toxic red tide that harm shell fishes. We all know that dinoflagellates are responsible for red tide. Now, what is it? Dinoflagellates are responsible for toxic red tide that harm shell fishes. No. They are responsible for toxic red tide, true, but they do not harm shell fishes. What happens is, dinoflagellates red tides cause करते हैं, then marine shell fish consumes those dinoflagellates. अब जब वो consume करते हैं shell fish, तो dinoflagellates का जो toxin है, these marine shell fish consumes dinoflagellates. अब जब ये डाइनोफ्लाजिलेट्स को कंज्यूम करते हैं तो देर इज एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ टॉक्सिन एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ टॉक्सिन इन दी शेल फिश शेल फिश के अंदर टॉक्सिन एक्यूमुलेट होता है देन वॉट हैपन्स इज दीज शेल फिश आर कंज्यूम्ड बाय मैन एंड देन मैन के अंदर कंजम्पन ऑफ टॉक्सिक शेल फिशेज लीड्स टू दी अवियर इलनेस दैट इज पैरालिटिक शेल फिश पॉइजनिंग पैरालिटिक शेल फिश पॉइजनिंग दिस इज अ डिजीज और दिस इज अलनेस विच इज कॉज इन मैन नाउ दिस डिजीज कैन ऑल्सो बी फेटल ओके सो शेल फिशेज आर नॉट हार्मड बट मैन विच कंज्यूम्स दिस शेल फिश show a severe illness that is paralytic shellfish poisoning okay so this is an incorrect option option number 3 that dinoflagellates show bioluminescence this is true because dinoflagellates emits light and due to phosphorescence c glows at night so this is correct monotrichous condition monotrichous condition is presence of single flagella single Flagella on the body, but as we all know that dinoflagellates are biflagellated and they have heterocont flagella. So this is incorrect. So answer to this question is option number three. Moving on to the next question, that is question number ninety-five. Choose the odd one with respect to members of pyrophyta. Pyrophyta, as we know, they are. Dinoflagellates. So here we have to identify the organism which is not a dinoflagellate. Goniolux is a dinoflagellate. Gymnodium is a dinoflagellate. Noctiluca is a dinoflagellate. But Physarum is a slime mold. So answer to this question is option number four. Moving on to the next question, that is question number ninety-six. 